Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my everyday makeup routine for you guys. It's pretty natural. The eyes are pretty simple. There's nothing really dramatic about it. It's all pretty neutral, kind of brown toned. You'll have to excuse the hair. I literally just got out of the shower before I started recording this. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So I am starting off with a fresh face. I just got out of the shower, washed my face. I have some moisturizer on, a simple everyday moisturizer with like SPF 15 in it. So the first thing I like to do is use a primer. And I don't have one that like I use every day that's like my cold primer. I kind of like am shopping around at the moment for a primer that I like. Today I'm going to be trying out the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. So I think I'll like this just because it will add like that sheen uh, without it looking oily. So I'm just gonna use a pump this on my fingers, which are clean. I'm gonna kind of focus it in the areas where I want light to reflect. So next I'm gonna go in Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm not like a huge fan of this foundation. It doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but um, it's the only foundation I have right now that's in my shade. And I'm just gonna be applying this with a beauty blender. I put the foundation up to the beauty blender, kind of tip it over get a little dab on and then I start applying it. And I start on my cheeks just because I have the most redness here and I want to apply the most product right here. Then I'll kind of work around my nose and mouth and then up to my forehead. So now I'm just taking kind of the leftover a little bit and applying this to my ears and down my neck so there's no harsh line and it all fades together. So now that I have this first layer on, I just kind of like to let it set for maybe 30 seconds just so it can kind of dry before I go in and kind of build it up in the areas that I need it. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing where I put a little bit on my sponge. I'm gonna focus this right here just to cover up this extra redness. So now that I'm done with foundation, I'm just gonna go in with a concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind for dark circles. And I'm just gonna apply this kind of underneath my eyes and then also on any blemishes I may have. Because I'm using this mattifying foundation, I don't usually need to powder my entire face for this, but I do like to do underneath my eyes just to avoid any creasing. So I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte on this e.l.f. blush brush. So now I'm done with my base, I'm going to go in and add a little color to my face now that I've canceled everything out. So for blush, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris True Match in Baby Blossom and this is just a really natural color. I'm just going to apply this with a Sigma Duo Fiber F50. I'm going to focus this kind of right on my cheekbones and try not to go in past my pupils. And because I didn't set with any powder, I try not to swipe because I don't want to take away any of the foundation. I just kind of it. So to add a little warmth back to my face, I like to just bronze. So um, I use this Bare Minerals, actually it's a foundation in medium beige, which is a couple shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm just going to use this on a large angled contour brush. And I'm just going to kind of work this in that 3E motion. And then I also like to put a little bit just around my nose. For um, highlighting, I don't really have any powders that I like. I do have this Wet n Wild palette. It has this really nice pink in it that I actually use for a highlight. Now that I'm done with my face, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. So brows are done and I'm going to move on to my eyes. On an everyday basis I usually keep my eyes pretty simple. 
simple. I just used two colors from this Maybelline The Nudes palette. First one being this really neutral color. So I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush and applying this all over my lid. Then I'm gonna go in with the color right next to it, this kind of taupey, light taupey brown. And I'm gonna pick this up on a tapered blending brush and then kind of just work this into my crease just to define it a little bit more. And that is it for eyeshadow. Sometimes I like to do eyeliner, sometimes I don't. Today I am just because I have a little, well I have more time than I usually do. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal, I believe this is, Linear Intense Eyeliner. So that's it for eyeliner. Now I'm gonna do mascara. I'm going to use Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. Not a huge fan of this, just because there's a lot of fiber in it, and it tends to get in my eyeballs, which hurts. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to run out so I can buy a new one. And for bottom lashes, I'm just going to do a little bit on the outside. And then to finish it all off, I'm going to do some lipstick. I applied some chapstick earlier. Um, and so for lipstick, I'm going to be using this NYX. This is what it looks like. It's in shade 529 Talia, which is this like brown pink color. So this is kind of the makeup that I wear on an everyday basis. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ah. So what I do is I just... that I really like. Excuse me while I itch my ear. On an everyday basic... Uh, basic. Yep, that's me. And just keep on watching. It is literally so cool to you guys. Like, I live in the south. I should not be putting up with this. Can we appreciate my pants right now? Okay, I'm done. Peace.